Hello everyone, this is Harsh and you are watching WPF World. In this video, we are going to learn how to make our WPF application modern using Mayhap Mat 2. How to change the theme of application. And also we will learn how to add button to the title bar. You can see this is how our normal WPF app look like. Now I am going to convert normal window to Mat 2 window. Let's see. To set up Mayhap Mat 2, we have to install a NuGet package. Go to Solution Explorer and right click on Differences and select Manage NuGet Package and search for MyApp.Metro. Select this and install the latest stable version. This is MIT license, we can use it freely. I will install latest stable version which is 2.4.10. Let's install it. Click on OK. Now installation is started. Now installation is successful. Now we can set up power. WPF application to Mayhap Metro. You can see Mayhap Metro is installed now. Now to set up the Mayhap Metro, we have to add one name space to the main window .xml. So I will add name space and I will say controls. And here I will set the Mayhap controls name space. Here in the UI we want to change window to Metro window. So here we need to replace window with Metro window. How to do that? Using these controls, we will change window to metro window. In the code behind of main window, we have to remove this window. Now we can run and see the result. Okay, here we got the error. Let's see what is the error here. Okay. So last tag is not updated correctly. So we will update it manually. We have to replace with control metro window because we started with control metro window. Now let's run and see. This is the default style of Metro window. To start with full map style and full window support, you need to change your normal window to our Metro window. All resources of Metro are located within separate resource dictionaries. To adapt the map Metro theme, you will need to add the resource dictionaries to your app.ml. So here I will add all the resources of the map Metro. I will remove this last check because we already added here this is default style of control fonts and themes now let's run and see you can see here after applying all the resources our ui got changed now it is fully metro window we can see the style default style of controls how it look like now let's close it we can extend the metro window the metro window can be extended and changed with some extra feature like visibility of title bar how we can change the visibility of title bar we can use the property show title bar to visible or hide the title bar of the window let's see so here i will say false and let's run and see you can see here title bar is not visible if we want to show the title bar we can make it true and we can see title bar is visible now like this, we can change the metro window style. Like this, we can hide or unhide the title bar of metro window. Now, I want to add button to the title bar. How to add that? To add the button to title bar, we have to use left window commands for adding button to the left position of title bar. And if we want to add command to the right of title bar, then we can use right window commands to add the control to title bar. We can add any control to the title bar using this left window commands or right window commands. Here button, toggle button, split button and drop down will use default style. For all other control you must create your own style. The window commands are also changeable so you can create your own. Now let's add the right window commands. To add right window commands we have to use controls metro window dot right window command and inside that we have to use window commands and here we can add any control like I want to add button control to change the theme so I will say button content equal to dark in the same way we can add left window commands here we can say button content as light to change theme to light here we will change right to left window commands now let's run and see you can see in the left side light button and in the right side dark button this is how we can add button to the title bar or any control to the title bar now i want to change the theme based on click event of this buttons 
I will add click event for dark button. Now in the code behind we will add the logic to change the theme of the window. To change the theme of window we have to use theme manager class and here we have the current party and we can call the change theme method and here we have to pass the window which is current window. In the change theme method we have to pass current object which is this and here we have to pass theme name. In my case here it is dark and I want blue color so I have used dark dot blue. For the light in the same way we have to change dark to light and we can say any color here. For my case it is blue. Now let's run and see. Now if you click on dark this window become dark and if you click light the theme will be changed to light. I hope you got idea how to change the theme in Petto window. Now here I will show how to stop resizing of the window. To stop resizing of the window we have to use resize mode property and here we have to pass no resize so that if we make resize mode as no resize then we will not able to resize our window. Now let's run and see. See here we don't have resize button on the title bar. Here if we want to add only minimize and close button we can use resize mode can minimize. So here we will get minimize button on the title bar. Let's run and see. You can see only minimize and close buttons are there. Close buttons are there. Now I want to resize our window with creep. Then we can use can resize with creep. Creep is nothing but bottom right corner you can see one icon here. Using this icon we can increase or decrease the size of window. I hope you learn how to change the theme, how to add control to the title bar and also you have learned how to hide and show the title bar. And also you learn how to add minimize button, restore button, resize button and how to resize with grip. If you found this video helpful, let's share with your friends.